Welcome back. As promised, I told you that we would be able to create new blocks, and that's exactly what we're going to do today. We're going to create, we're going to learn how to create new types of blocks, our own blocks that we can then move around, uh, our own block content that we can then move around into the various block regions on our Drupal site. So to do that, we're going to go back up to structure, okay, and we're going to click back on blocks, and then here, under here, see, we've got a button here that says add block. And what I'm going to do in this case, and I'm just going to create a nice plain text block. And so I'm going to just call this uh, my first block. Okay. And let's pay attention. Well, we've got block title it's asking me for. And then it's also asking me for a block description. And what's funny is that the block title is not required, but the block description, according to this, it says it is um, required. Let me explain what the difference is between these. The My first block, that is the title that's going to show up to the user, to somebody who goes to your website. That's what actually shows up on the front page of your website. Whereas the block description, okay, uh, I'll just call this my first block description, okay? In fact, I'll say my first block title and my first block description. This is what's going to show up. This is a description of your block for your eyes only. This is what's going to show up on the blocks admin page, okay? And that's, that's that previous page that we were on. Um, and you'll see it show up there. Now, why would this one be required and this one not? What do you think, what, what do you think is the answer there? Well, if you said it's because we, we clearly need some sort of description so that we can work with it. We need to know, we can't leave that blank because otherwise we're just moving blank blank boxes around, you know, on our blocks administration page. And that doesn't make sense. So we need some sort of an admin name for whatever it is the content that you're dealing with. Whereas up here, you might have content that you don't necessarily want to have you know, to put a title on. It might just be a, a text block that says, you know, uh, RoboBunny Attack has been in business for, you know, the past 50 years or whatever. Maybe you don't need a title for that, or maybe you do need a title. In this case, we're going to see what it looks like with the title, and then we'll also see without. Um, block body, this is just the text that's going to show up in that block. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and use my Laura Mipsum generator here, and I'm just going to create, uh, oh, you know what, let's make that a little bit longer. Why not? Let's go and say four sentences. That looks good. Uh, maybe not even that. Maybe more like that. Yeah, okay, sure. I, I, sorry, I'm, I'm not I'm having a hard time making up my mind here. Um, and in this case, okay, so I've created a, my first block. There's a couple couple sentences of text there. Uh, we'll leave the text format as filtered HTML for the time being. Um, and here we can specify which region it's in. Okay, let's start with something really simple. Let's start by putting it in the, oh, I don't know. Let's put it in the sidebar first. Okay, and we'll leave these visibility settings for now. We're going to tackle that in a future screencast. But for right now, let's just go ahead and click Save Block. And okay, so the block has been created. Here's our block administration page. Let's scroll down and see what's going on. Here we see under sidebar first, as expected, we see my first block description. This is the admin name, the description, the descriptive name that we have given this block. Let's see if a couple other things. We see under here, we see configuration options, okay? But we also see a delete button. Now, notice that this is the only block that actually has a delete button next to it, and that's because you created this. And so Drupal says, hey, if you change your mind, you want to delete this, you can delete this. But notice you can't actually delete the, the, doof, the all the default Drupal blocks, all these block content things like system help and powered by Drupal. You can never delete those. And that's sort of a safety feature that Drupal does. Now, you can take them out. You can make them all, you can put them all into the disabled section if you want here, but you don't ever have to delete any of those or you can't delete any of those. These on the, anything that you create, however, you do have the ability to delete. Okay, so do be careful. That means that you could accidentally delete your own blocks, but it's kind of a good thing that you can't accidentally delete the default blocks because they tend to be pretty important blocks to have. Okay, so enough talking. Let's see what our site what looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the home button there. And wow, look at that. Okay, my first block title. So that's the title that we gave it. Okay, and then there's the text that I put in there. And notice that it's formatted slightly smaller. We couldn't really tell before, but the text is slightly smaller. 
okay, than this main text right here. Um, but the title is formatted in a nice way. We've got like the title is bigger and there's an underscore. And bear in mind, every single theme is going to format things a little bit differently, okay? Um, let's see what, uh, what this would look like if we moved it elsewhere. And I can move it elsewhere by clicking Configure Block. And again, I could remove this block title altogether if I just decided I didn't need a title. That's perfectly fine. I'm going to leave a title for the time being. Where should we put this? Um, let's see what it looks like if we put it in Triptych first. I'll go ahead and do that and click Save Block. All right, so it's out of the sidebar. Where did it go? Ah, there we go. It's down here. That's interesting. And you can imagine, I don't, I won't bother doing this, but you can imagine if we then added a new block under Triptych Second and then another one under Triptych Third, we would have these blocks of text that would show up in these kind of these, you know, columns right here. Let's move this down to the footer. See what that would look like. I'm going to go click Configure Block, and let's move this. Let's try moving it just down into the very bottom footer here. I'll click Save Block. And we see, okay, so same content, totally different formatting. Okay, do you see that? Um, what happens if we move it up to one of those footer sidebars there? What are they called? Footer, footer first column. Let's try that out. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. Oh, and in this case, Drupal puts a nice square box around it like that. Um, you know what's a really nice idea? I like to, when I'm starting to learn, when I'm when I'm working with a new theme, um, I like to actually create a bunch of different um, a bunch of different uh, uh, fake blocks, just to kind of fake text box with some fake content, and just to kind of get a sense of what the styling looks like for every different section and that helps me understand what I might want to change later or even whether this is a good theme or not whether I, I like what it's doing um, so I strongly recommend that's actually an excellent exercise too to do under structure you would go to blocks and just go ahead and spend five minutes and create you know 15 or maybe you don't need to do 15 but do like you know maybe a dozen or so different text blocks and just place one in each one of these sections uh, so that you can see what it looks like. Um, and then you'll kind of get this bird's eye view of all the different uh, block regions um, in a way that's even better than this you know, demonstrate block regions page. Because even though this demonstrate block regions page is really handy, um, it doesn't really give you a sense of what the styling is going to be like in those various regions, right? It just tells you the general location, but it doesn't tell you, for example, here that the font in footer is going to be smaller than the font in triptych first, okay? And just again, to reiterate, you know, I don't want to spend too, too much time talking about fonts and colors and stuff like that, because we will talk about that in a future screencast. Um, but uh, you can change all this. All of this stuff is editable. Some of it is a little easier. Some themes make it really, really easy to change basic stuff like colors. Um, others, you just need to go in and do a little bit of coding to tweak things. Some themes allow you to use the uh, interface to go in and change font sizes and, and all that sort of stuff. Um, we're not going to get into that right, right now. We're still trying to just wrap our heads around the structure. But hopefully, just by seeing this, you can see how it's pretty quick to throw together a website that looks half decent, even just using just the, the basic theme. And imagine what it would be like if you actually started installing new themes and experimenting with those. Um, so there we go. Um, just as a quick little demonstration, let's add a couple new blocks. Let's add, for example, let's add a copyright block. Okay. So I will add a copyright block that basically says, I'm not going to put a block title in this case, okay, but I'll say copyright notice, okay, and I'm going to say, okay, this website um, is copyright uh, 2013 by Robo Bunny Attack, okay, so there we go, I'm going to go ahead and save block, okay, let's take a look at what this looks like, and where is it? Oh, what did I forget to do? 
I created a block, but I didn't assign it to a block region. And I did that on purpose, kind of. I was actually moving pretty quickly there. Um, no, but I'm glad I made that mistake because it's good to show you how, don't worry, you can create blocks. And just because they don't show up doesn't mean that you did anything wrong. You just forgot to put it somewhere. In this case, here it is. This is the block that I just created, copyright notice. I'd like to move this into the footer. I think the footer is a good place for that. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save Blocks. And let's see what that looks like. And there it is. This website is copyright 2013 by Robo Bunny Attack. Yay! Um, what would we do if we wanted the copyright symbol in there? Huh? That's actually something uh, probably for another screencast, I think. And yeah, that actually would be useful uh, to go take a look at one of my HTML, CSS uh, screencasts on using special characters. Uh, so I'll leave that for now. I won't go off on a tangent on that. Um, but I hope that that's helpful. You now know how to create various text blocks, and that's really, really handy. As you install new modules, you'll find a lot of the modules will create their own blocks. They'll give you new blocks. Um, and so then you can start playing around with those and moving them around on your site. And it's really, really cool to do that. Um, and uh, I have one more screencast I want to do where I'm going to show you how to change the visibility of blocks according to different conditions, but I'll save that for the next screencast. Thank you very, very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.